Okay, we're going to paint this windmill now. And it is, I, if you watched the first part of this uh, video, I have, it was blocked in or sketched up with a mixture of my mud previously and that has been allowed to dry. So now I can come back in. I have painted the sky. The upper part of the sky is cobalt blue plus white coming down to thalo blue plus white. The clouds are, this is my mud plus a little white and then this is white plus some cadmium orange plus a tiny bit of mud. Now I'm using a mixture again of my mud plus liquid and I'm going to draw the windmill in here or paint it in here. First I'm going to come in with my small brush and paint in between the blades of the windmill. Just cover that. And I cover it up, cover this pretty lightly. I don't want to just get that real heavy. Just want to make sure the canvas is covered, all the little white specks where the texture of the canvas is. And, um, and this is the gear that all the blades come into and holds the, the uh, fan of the windmill. Okay, now this, I've again, I drew that in earlier. I'm, I've got my hand braced on the mall stick. This hooks over the top of my easel. And I can just brace my hand here and that steadies my hand as I'm, I'm doing this. So I'm going to first do the upright Again, this is my mixture of mud, and the background is wet, so I can just pull that into the background, just very lightly, into that wet paint. And then this is the upper platform. And I've painted the sky around the windmill fairly lightly so I can still see my initial sketch in there. These angle out. Now, I don't want this to be real heavy because my windmill's in the distance, so these lines are going to be fairly light. Don't want this to be to come forward. I just want it to fade back into the distance. And with that bright sky behind it, if you've gone outside any time and it's bright out, that sun, that light fades out things. Any darker fine lines or something. Then there's cross pieces here. As we come down, they get further and further apart. And then in between those are bracing and these are finer wires so this is where it really helps having my mall stick to I can just pull these into that wet paint it's so much easier making the lines smooth with the paint of the sky wet it would be very difficult if that paint was dry uh, it, you know, my brush would hop and skimp and, and just wouldn't look very good. This way I can make those fine lines and they just disappear. They work into that wet paint, they pull smoothly, and yet I can keep them faint. So again, I want my windmill to be fading into the distance. You see it, but it, it's not real prominent. Bring some of my phthalo blue plus white just around here to fill in some of these little spots. Love these old windmills in Texas, and they it's sad because so many of them are beginning to fall down. They're, just the old barns and the old windmills. It's so nice to see when somebody restores a, a barn or windmill and 
just has those. And then again, I'm just pretty well just coming back over my initial drawing with the mud. I don't want these, again, I don't want these blades of the windmill to be real dark. And as this come, the perspective on them as they come around this side, you see more of the flat of the blade as they come on this side of the windmill. They're tilted at an angle. So when you, these on the left are going to appear wider and those on the right are thinner just because of the angle that they're, they're at. And that's so they catch the wind. These windmills on a windy day, boy, they just spin. You can't even see the individual blades. It's just a blur. come back in and, and paint my sky around that a little bit. Just get these a little bit thinner. This again of the angle of the blade. And this fan that catches the wind. I'm going to just make it kind of a rusty red. Let's put a little angle to that back side of it. I just ran out of tissue here on my easel. Let me grab that and get a new roll up here so I can wipe my brush. I use a lot of tissue as I'm painting. and I, One of the secrets to keeping the color on your canvas clean is having a clean brush. So I'm going to pull from the sky into that fan on the on my windmill. So I want that edge to be just soft. Again, I want this to fall back into the distance. So I'm just going to pull from the blue into that fan. If I pull the other way, it's going to get the sky all dirty. So I just want to pull from the that way. And then there's a little Here comes out. And let's bring some of this red back into here. So that's our windmill. That's how we paint that. I took the time when I drew it in to make sure I had it pretty accurate because. That way, then it makes it so much easier at this point to get it get it right. I'm making these blades just a little bit darker. I have that one too long. That's how we put that windmill in there. And it's so much easier with the paint around it wet because I can just make those, it's easier to come back in and make the shapes. If that sky were dry, it would really be hard to make these edges smooth. Thank you for watching my YouTube videos. You may subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please also visit my blog. I show the complete step-by-step -step process of this painting in my blog. The link is in the description below, and that will take you to the entire blog for this painting. It's in several posts.
because this is a bigger painting it's taking me longer to do but the link will take you back back to the very first post in the blog and then from there you can move through the whole thing so thank you again and you just have a wonderful wonderful day and remember today is a great day to have a great day